and three, two, one, boom, and we're back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. This episode is sponsored by Zen Real Clothing Co. Pick up your tees at zenrealclothingco.com. Don't forget to use the offer code SGPODCAST for 20% off select items. All right, so we're back with the Socratic Dialogue. Uh, this episode, we're going to talk about can we do away with fossil fuels entirely? Mm-hmm. So we checked out um, Ford vs. Ferrari. I really like that movie. Yeah. Um, it was... It was it was a good way to depict driving. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. It was like very realistic. It had like it wasn't like Fast and the Furious where they're doing some craziness. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, I can see how this would work. Mm-hmm. Like it, it bring the mindset of like what driving's like and it's like so all right, but basically you go into it because you're the first one who told me about this kind of racing style. Oh Le Mans? Yeah, I've uh, never heard of it before. Yeah, I had watched like a documentary way back. Uh, I think it was like about Honda being like being able to uh, be the number one, right? Like it's a 24 hour race. I believe that's every four hours the driver switches and you're and it's like it's, it's basically to show off who's got the best engine and how long can this and last basically. Yeah. So it's like speed and longevity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. And it's and the, to my like, I didn't know this, but I thought it was like a 24 hour race with the same driver no because it wouldn't be possible <laughs> that's why i was like oh man who are you gonna get to do that that's yeah, pretty crazy no one no one could do that that's why he sleep like in between yeah yeah totally yeah. so totally. see they so and then and then and so the thing is like it, the the uh the ground like um the environment changed too right so it's like that you're evolving to that too like ad- ad- adapting to right 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 well. it, it starts raining you gotta switch yeah. the tires yeah uh, they did one of this tr- these tricks where like they kept blowing out the uh, the brakes. So in yeah. in like testing, so they just switched out the brakes entirely. Yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting. <laughs> but it, it's like it's not really like a. It, it seems like if there are rules to any system, then it's never perfect. You'll never find the true thing, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Like if you start introducing rules, then you'll never find out the truth of what it is. You'll only find out the truth within that set of rules mm-hmm. you know like the thing about bjj right so like how it started off as like the uh <clears throat> valetudo which is like anything goes and they would fight for like hours and hours right but yeah. then they started doing like time limits yeah. so it's like yeah your bjj works in time limits mm-hmm. you know but if there were no rules bjj would win see what i'm saying so yeah. it's sort of like with this this car thing like nobody else thought to like swap out parts like the brakes yeah you know it's just them so they're like all right we're just gonna play with the rules right you know mm-hmm. that's my only gripe with this contest <laughs> okay right yeah, it's, but it's cool like it's cool well everyone has the same thing right everyone has the same opportunity to do that so. yeah but nobody thought it like you know it's like how do you bend but not break the rules it's like ah that's kind of well that's how you you know change the game basically then everyone thinks about it true it's it's really sad when you see like that like spoiler alert he dies the driver <laughs> and it's like it's kind of sad when you see that because you're like i did not expect that though yeah, I, didn't expect I was that like either. okay maybe he'll come back the next year and then he'll win it yeah so i was like yeah, yeah, yeah I was totally like, okay that'll be that too. but I, I guess it's reality <laughs> that doesn't died. happen you're like you gave it you gave him a throw to me bro <laughs> yeah they did you know um so so one of the pitfalls of like using but like, a lot of people do die sorry just uh like that the line that's there like some people get stuck and then oh yeah some people just don't get out of the car yeah. yeah, and it does happen a lot, though. But he also didn't have the suit on, remember? He was uh, wearing a t-shirt. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. I think it was just up maybe for the shot, I guess. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, so yeah. Um, so one of the pitfalls of using like a fossil fuel car is like the potential for it catching on fire. Uh, Yeah, yeah. I guess, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, no, you can... Anything... Uh, no, but but there's like like sparks, and then you have like fuel, which can like light on fire, and then you get that huge explosion. Yeah, same right? thing happens with battery, though. If you put it in water, uh, it'll explode. But like, you no, know, like no, the solid frame. Of no, like some a Tesla, some of the some of the Teslas have they've exploded. Not exploded. Oh. There something caught into the to battery, uh-huh. like when they crashed or something happened. I don't remember what it was, but generally it is better at uh, blocking. Um, or like controlling some of the heat to a certain level where the point is you like you can get out of the car safely okay so there you go all right so yeah um so one it can you know burns the whole thing up yeah one of the things that we were 
were seeing noticing is like how fast these cars would go mm -hmm. and like they were saying like how they're like you know they think that the the car thinks it's the spaceship etc cetera, etc cetera, because it's going so fast right yeah, yeah um but like i'm wondering will you ever see a day where um an electric car will join that uh oh right yeah i think yeah I, it's 24 uh, hours you know right so. right i think it can it just uh you just gotta get the, the battery right no the battery is is there in the sense of distance i don't even know how long those cars even last distance wise right and how many times they have to fuel up right that didn't uh, i wouldn't want to look into that right because it's a smaller type of car it's more designed for speed not distance i don't think necessarily well which one the fossil fuel cars or the no, yeah, the ones that they use in the race. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Because uh, they're more designed for aerodynamics, so I wonder. Uh, it is, like, you will get a certain distance, but, like, how much, right? Right, right, Within right. that kind of tank that they have in there. So, how, like, how many times do they come to the pit to refuel? Right, right, right. Uh, but how can you can you design an electric car that can last longer, but then also add in the time of uh, recharging? That will also, you know what I mean, kind of, like, come into play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... But I mean, like they could also just swap out the engines. Oh, true. They could the just battery. swap out the battery. Actually, Every they could time, do that. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Actually, you could already do that with uh, with Tesla. So, so maybe it's on its way. Maybe that. Maybe maybe. Um, what's his name? Uh, um, oh, what's his name? Our boy, Elon. Elon, thank you. <laughs> uh, Elon Musk. Like maybe he'll watch this movie and he'll be like, "We should do that. Uh, yeah. We can okay. do that." Okay. He doesn't like. Yeah. That. yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, so like fossil fuel versus Maybe. electric car, generally, which is faster and why? Uh, generally, which is faster? It seems like electric is faster. Yeah, totally. But but why? Like logically explain it. Cause, oh, because there's less parts involved in... Um, getting the engine, uh, getting the energy What's well, the thing? It's like less input. So, you know, like in a video game, there's like so many input lags. So like there's the lag between... Uh, like the controller to the console console to the screen it's like there's so many parts involved where there's only right yeah, there's yeah. less parts involved in a battery in an electric car like so like so that. like when the energy is turned on it goes straight to the wheels yeah right you don't have to like turn it on and then like start these like pistons moving yeah yeah, cetera, yeah. there's cetera, so many things like, involved yeah, yeah yeah so many steps before the wheels actually get the energy that yeah. it needs yeah i mean it's very very fast it's it's not like we can in a blink of an eye it does happen but then those milliseconds is what counts right 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 so and it's an electric is uh pretty fast in that way yeah. and and also with the teslas you can build it in a certain way that it's like the outside is the frame right so it's like if it gets hit it's got a solid frame mm -hmm. you know whereas like yeah like, oh you mean like in an accident yeah, yeah right yeah and generally yeah they're uh, i know with tesla they're designed um with more uh like crash shock absorption or something like that they call it right uh in the front and the back because there is no engine that i need to worry about in the front so. right exa exactly yeah. yeah so you could put the you could put the um uh the battery anywhere right uh yeah well the battery goes on the bottom but yeah oh so there you go it goes in the bottom so you have more trunk space right from the front and the back yeah you have both uh, you have a frunk that's what they call it now. i think we saw that when we went to the the yorkdale <laughs> one and we checked it out and it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like a front trunk that's kind of weird yeah it's uh you know it's interesting yeah uh, no one thinks about it. <laughs> but, yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. yeah, it is kind of funny. But so, okay, so if they figure out the battery thing, you you could. Totally I mean, they kind of. I do. I, mean, <clears throat> I think it's it's more about the charge time. I like in battery wise, like the new, like, two hundred k Tesla that's coming out eventually is mm -hmm. about is like getting a like a, uh, a wait, what what was it? Oh yeah, how many? thousand kilometers yeah oh really wow yeah it's pretty good yeah so like but then um uh just the, the, the charge time is what matters right now right so they're also improving on charge time so like there was uh they've increased it already but again it's it still needs uh, to be even quicker right mm. so that's that's where that's i think where it needs to go like if you can reduce the charge time to adding like the same amount of adding a fuel uh-huh then yeah you can win this game and win the race easy yeah makes sense yeah so that's what they got to figure out so it's it's happening slowly so it's not like yet there i guess but it's mm -hmm. it's, it's there yeah it's coming
So the future is bright for the electric vehicle. Mm-hmm. All right. So the the big question: Can we completely do away with fossil fuels? Uh, it depends on what. If you add a timeline, uh, I would say if if you want to add like as long as it does as long as it takes, then yes. Okay. True. All right. Fine. Fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Touche. Touche. <laughs> that's what I was trying to um, say earlier. Yeah. That's that's a good one. All right. <laughs> See that the rules loopholes. You Thank don't you. break the rule. You just know <laughs> you the, didn't rule specify really well. the rules. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, all right. So do you think? Do you think we'll um, convert to fossil? We'll get rid of fossil fuels like in the next twenty years? No. That's no, impossible. really? No. Wow. I don't think it's possible. Okay. See that? That's all right. So when you said yes before the podcast, you're like, yes, we can. I'm like. I was going to say no, but okay, let me see your logic behind this one. And when you said that, I was like, all right, touche. You're right. If we have no time limit, no issues, of course we're going to switch. Like it's a natural progression. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. but in terms of immediacy, do you think we can switch it in time? Uh, I think there will be a huge impact in the next 20 years that will like be it's, helpful it's, for electric, but right. I don't know if it will be uh, – I don't know what the percentage will actually be um, uh, uh, like the the change amount, right? Like right. so, like how much? Maybe there's ten percent left. I don't know, or maybe it's you know thirty percent of fossil fuels still left. You know what I mean? All right, but do you think we can even like overtake electric? Like electric can overtake uh, fossil fuel? Uh, yeah. In the next twenty years? Uh, I think there will be like majority. Let's say I think say there will be. I think there will be a lot of impact like happening in the sense uh-huh. like there will be a lot of changes happening uh since a lot of these countries already are uh having laws in the next 20 30 years to like have everything electric right 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 so there will be a huge impact so there might be a lot of changes happening in the next even 10 10 15 years right D- didn't elon go to saudi arabia to like pitch his electric vehicle to get funding, what what was that thing that he did? No, like he was if he was going to privatize the company, he would go to Saudi Arabia. No, no, no. Like it wasn't like official. It was just like they were just talking. Okay, but it didn't it didn't work out with uh, not with them. It didn't work out with anything. With try to make it privatized because there's a lot of problems when now that it's a public company. <laughs> Right, yeah, the totally. rules that he has to follow. Right, for sure, for sure. But basically, he wants his own rules. So that's why. I wonder though, like, if you really want to switch um, mm-hmm. to a new thing, it's an economics problem. It's not really a technology yeah. problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like they had uh, they had alcohol fueled cars back in the day, but like through economics, through like free market business. Well, yeah, like they, they went to the gas car, but not not because it was logically better, but because like he had more ties. Uh, well, what I've read was like the person that was involved. Like, so what happened was actually it would have been a huge impact in the in um in uh what did you say electric? No, no, like um non fossil fuel. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot uh, how they were um, fueling the cars, but. Uh, basically, you needed alcohol at the time to make that part of the fuel, right? Right. But so, alcohol was illegal. Yeah, what happened in the 1920s? Yeah, that's what I mean. It's an economics problem. Yeah, no, no, no. But who, who did that, though? The government. No? Uh, yeah, but like, who were they? Oh, yeah, they're the propagandists, right? Like the... Um... No, they were influenced with money from fossil fuel industry. Yeah, yeah that's what yeah. I mean. Yeah, because yeah, they yeah, knew exactly. that this was going to impact their business. Totally. It's, 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 yeah, in, totally. In so. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's yeah. an economics problem. You have a business problem. You don't actually have... See, like, when people say, like, oh, this would be better for the environment, everyone always forgets about business. It has nothing... Like, everything that you think is a great idea, it really means nothing unless you can monetize it in a business way. For mm-hmm. altruistic people, it's like, why don't... Like, like all those people like that are championing for, like, climate change, climate action, mm-hmm. right? It's like, yeah, that's a very idealistic point of view. I agree with you, but you're neglecting the business side of things. Mm -hmm. You know, business is not evil. It's just those are the rules that we're operating under. Well, yeah, I mean, they they added those rules to to affect, uh, to help uh, benefit their business, right? Totally. Just change the rules, though. It has nothing to do with. Yeah. So now now they really can't. What what can they really do against battery? Right. (laughs) 
Yeah, totally. It, 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 totally, yeah, yeah. So now it's uh, it's difficult for them to even... Well, they were trying to do it, actually. They were trying to do, like... Uh, because the loophole they were trying to find with Tesla was, like, oh, they don't have um, a dealership, right? Right. And they're like, okay, well, you can't sell a car without a dealership. Oh, really? Wow, I believe in Texas they passed that kind of thing where you need a dealership. See, like... So, like, that, that kind of thing is what they're trying to attack uh, or trying to fight them against. But it... it didn't really work, but yeah. But it's like it's like you're trying to slow down using the rules that you're given. You know, yeah. that's why lawyers are so important because lawyers, they like obsessively study the rules and then they know how to bend but not yeah. break the rules. Yeah. Right? Well, they, they know that they'll eventually go out of business, right? So they're trying to survive in a sense. They're trying to buy themselves enough time till they can switch to a different profit model. Uh, yeah, I guess so. You yeah. know, like, like for example, Ford. Mm-hmm. Ford's going electric now. Yeah, but why is Ford going electric? Because it saw the future. It's like, okay, electric cars are going to be the way. Yeah, let's start putting a foothold in this thing. Mm-hmm. You know, so like now is actual. Like now, I can you know, I like to see some actual competition. So I think Ford is bringing that. I like that. I good. yeah, I like that too. Because like, whenever when the only electric car you can think of is a Tesla, it's like ah, uh, like no, they're really cool. Yeah, but this this creates competition. This yeah, creates I mean. uh, price. Um, Price wars, uh, price wars, which is good because then it, and, and technological it innovation, goes down. yeah. Because you're like, okay, you think that Tesla's cool? Check out this Ford, bro. You know, <laughs> right? Yeah, I I feel like all right on total like spiritual like metaphysical level. I think what in order to operate well in this world, you have to have like idealism and pragmatism, mm-hmm. but you can't have. See, it's like idealism. Is trumped by pragmatism and pragmatism is trumped by idealism Mm -hmm. right but like it's it seems illogical it's like it's a paradox how can you have both but they cancel each other out right right? but this world is built off of logical paradoxes so it's like you need to be idealistic by studying business but you need to be i mean sorry sorry, you need to be pragmatic by studying business but you need to be idealistic in like i want to go here but how do you get there you get there through like pragmatism of business right but i feel like not many people a lot of people who like champion for things don't really take into account the basis of business mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah okay yeah because it's like like i read a lot of these like like climate change books recently just because mm-hmm. i'm like are right, what are you guys talking about? like maybe there's something in there that uh like i don't see but all the best ones that i've read have all taken into account business so like um environmental intelligence or ecological intelligence, I think it was called, and then the reality bubble. It's mm-hmm. like, it's like if you don't look at the negative, your positive will never work. Right. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just small tangent. Because <laughs> I was like, I get frustrated with that because it's like, no, we can achieve an electric future. Right. But it's like only if you understand how economics works. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's why I was like applauding. Elon Musk for going to Saudi Arabia to privatize because it's like, yeah, you go where the money is. Saudi Arabia's got all the money. Well, they're just trying to get investors. That's all. Just no, no, right, no, no, right. Yeah. But, but it's like, I believe. It's like you're trying, I mean, they. You know? I mean, they. They know too, right? Because Saudi Arabia is they, the powerhouse. Yeah, and they make money off of oil. Yeah, they know that the future isn't there. So, it, so, so Elon Musk going there, it's like that's that's an economics move, right? right? right. But then people are like, why would you work with Saudi Arabia? Because like they're yeah, all yeah, about yeah, fossil yeah. fuel. And you're like, no, you don't understand. They're going to lose money and they know the future is dying. So it's like yeah. we need to – we're giving them the option. Mm-hmm. You know? It's like – like earlier But sometimes – uh, yeah, I, I understand that. But sometimes it's also like it kind of does affect the business if you're like working with Saudi Arabia. Totally. No, I So like it. you got to look at the all, all – um, all, um, like uh, it's it's like chess. scenarios and it, stuff. It's yeah. like chess. It's like yeah. okay, you're gonna lose a pawn, but to get a better advantage. So it's like yeah, sure, our brand might be hurt by this like Saudi Arabia mm-hmm. teamwork thing, but like in the long run, the advantage is greater than the loss. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like a shit sandwich that we were talking about this morning. It's like <laughs> you give them the options, but like you know where both options lead. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but that was a while ago, but that didn't work out. So. No, it didn't work out, but I mean, like, yeah. kudos to you, Elon Musk, for trying, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I don't see anything wrong with that. You no, should I try agree. whatever you can to, like, this will just help electric, so. Well, one of, the, one of the things that I think is standing in the way 
in terms of switching to electric is like the um uh logistics for business because like we think that see everyone thinks like okay what's really causing climate change is us driving our cars that's not true no that's not what's the really most, no. yeah like w- w- how often do you drive a car twice a day right? yeah but it's not even that Im- like, no no right, right yeah. no but 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 like what it is is like transportation like it's like logistics shipping yeah is what's really driving climate change mm-hmm. like well he sure, is doing a truck right yeah that's what i was gonna get into uh, uh, okay. so <laughs> so like we think that like okay if i stop driving to work it's gonna do something okay sure like you you took two hours yeah it's, of it's driving more, uh, yeah yeah you know but it's like but these trucks are driving for 24 hours like yeah. literally these yeah. these truck drivers are sleeping in their car they're waking up they're driving again yeah because they have to make their shipments yeah. what are those made of fossil fuels yeah it like that, that's why it's mind-boggling to me when people are like i'm just gonna bike to work it's like all right cool you're gonna save you two hours of gas from Mm-hmm. the environment mm-hmm. but really what's driving climate change is like the thousands of hours that these trucks are on the road and these like shipping containers are on the seas right you know what I mean? yeah, that's yeah. really what's driving like all of this <laughs> climate stuff yeah yeah you know so like um so like elon's making a truck yeah you know so that's again step in the right direction and they already got like a lot of pre-orders for that too. Like uh, Walmart's getting involved because they do a lot of shipments, I guess. And- yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, you know, I studied the um, the business case of Walmart. Mm-hmm. Uh, it has nothing. Walmart's not. So we we look at Walmart and we're like, oh, okay, it's like it's a store. That's really where it drives its money. That's not true. It drives its money off of trucking mm-hmm. because it's it's always shipping. Uh, so like it'll ship it to one location and then you can rent a walmart truck on the ship back because what they would do is they'd ship a lot of places would oh, okay. ship their truck right. there yeah, 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 and then yeah. they'd drive the truck back empty, with right? empty yeah right mm-hmm. but what walmart started not to better. do that's not efficient yeah it's not efficient so like right. on the way back you can rent a walmart truck to bring something on the way back oh interesting smart I didn't know right that. yeah, and cool. another thing of walmart is it's like they sh- they sell shelf space they don't actually sell products yeah so yeah. like they don't take a hit when they're if you see those products in walmart walmart didn't buy those things that's also why when you go like to the this always pisses me off when you see like somebody in the coke section you're like hey man where's this and he's like i actually don't work here i work for coke you know what I mean? And you're like, ah, oh, it's like I got tricked. Because <laughs> you're like, you think like this guy will have information, but it's like these people don't actually work here. Right, but that's right, the right. example of Walmart. They sell shelf space. Right. So like you bring in your own products, mm-hmm. you fill it. And then if you're losing money on our shelf space, we give that shelf space to someone else. That's how that works. Yeah. All right, right. Interesting, right? Yeah. Has nothing to do with products. They they don't touch products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's like for like even grocery stores, right? The the placement of some of those in the front. Is they bought that area? Yeah, it's, yeah, that's space. that's another. Yeah, grocery stores. Well, they started copying because Walmart was doing so well with it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it, if it's beneficial. Yeah, to totally. Money, yeah, of course. Yeah. So yeah, so Elon tackling the trucking industry. What do you think of that? Uh, I don't think we talked about it before, but that personalized truck, cyber Pick, truck. The picker. It's like a pickup truck. Cyber right? truck. Okay, yeah, cyber truck. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I, I saw I saw this this meme. It's very um, Blade Runner. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh yeah, okay, that's where that's from. Yeah, yeah totally. Uh, I liked it. I liked it. It's a little too futuristic for me. It's like uh, uh, it's a little weird. Right. Yeah. I like, it, I like the marketing. It will turn heads. Yeah, I think that was the the kind of the idea. The because it's like you know, if you look at the cars now that they have, it just looks like any other electric or any other car, right? Right. Yeah. 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 So yeah, how do you know it's electric? Yeah. Right? Exactly. What's the differentiator? And then if this will turn heads, this might be an impactful thing to. Like, and they're they're making that ATV, right? Yeah, it's supposed to come. Yeah, yeah, like an add-on thing for that. Yeah. If you're watching us um, this on YouTube, you'll see Vish is playing Death Stranding, and I'm wondering right now: is this an electric car? Yeah, it is all battery operated. Oh really? Oh, there you go. The future. Yeah, you have to create those. Um, we were charging it. If you were seeing that earlier in the game, you were oh, charging the thing. It. it was like all wireless charging. Oh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what this will this will do for us. Like our like atoms and cells, the wireless charging because we have like you know what I mean? it's well, like, it happens already. I mean, we're with Wi Fi. 
True. Yeah. No, but but like, I'm wondering like how this is actually affecting us. Uh, yeah. yeah. We never know. We'll find out in the future. It's like uh, that vaping thing where people now are starting to find people are like suffocating from vaping or killing themselves. I mean, yeah. Yeah, but they're suffocating because they the that vape gets stuck in their lungs mm -hmm. and then they can't actually pass oxygen or something. Okay. And like wow. they yeah, there's this this boy who needs like a lung transplant because he vaped every day for like six months. Oh my god! They're like, yeah, you, I forgot what they call it, fireman's lungs, because mm -hmm. they saw it in oh, firemen okay. as well. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot what the exact term was, but like he needs like a a lung transplant. He's on a a breathing thing right now, but yeah, interesting. I I didn't yeah I knew something was going on with that. Like, they were trying to ban it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're banning it here too, but but again, I don't understand why we're banning it because totally. So that, that's what I'm saying. So like, if you look at the around, bro. right? That's the economics <laughs> of it. Like, why are you banning this? But you should ban cigarettes then. <laughs> actually, yeah, you did ban cigarettes, but it's like no, but you're like you're no, they actually, never banned it. No, 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 no. Like you're 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 like limiting cigarettes, but like you didn't ban cigarettes. No, you didn't even limit it. What way did it? No, limit you can't. It? You have to like seven meters from the entryway. Some BS like that. You can't smoke indoors anymore. But you. you yeah indoors yeah but that's i don't really feel like it's limiting in the sense that it's you just uh don't smoke inside inside no, but, but also like entryways right like yeah. you you need to be like a few meters away from an entry yeah but if you're on nobody a sidewalk, does that though nobody, nobody does that. if you're at a sidewalk it's <laughs> that's where you do it right but but i'm saying like nobody does that because like I, on on like my lunch who's breaks, gonna measure so, it see, yeah totally <laughs> but on my lunch breaks i see people smoking next to the entrance all the time like all right well that's just a bs law yeah, yeah. It, I mean, some laws it's just hard to um, enforce. Yeah, yeah. It just makes sense with the inside, but I don't know. Seven meters and who, who, who's going to count that? Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. See economics, man. Mm -hmm. Like lobbying for things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. It'll be interesting. It'll um, it'll get there. Like I mean, the electric thing, but it's just going to take time. But what's as it, all, as it always is? What's the way that we we generate our electricity? So it's all solar, steam, no? Uh, here you mean? Yeah, yeah. Just how do you generate electric power? Uh, well, I guess it's. I mean, you could use coal too. Actually, <laughs> yeah. Well, no, we used to do that. Right? Okay, okay. So what's what's the new method though? I, yeah. I don't actually know. I mean, I think it's nuclear. Oh really? Oh man, yeah, still? that's the nuclear power plant. Right? It's Chernobyl, bro. Watch out. Uh, yeah. Well, we didn't spend, uh, I don't know, maybe. We didn't, we didn't cheap out. <laughs> yeah. Like, Chernobyl. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. All right. So looking out for the future, definitely going to see, if you if you see it in the future, you heard it here on this podcast first, that there's going to be an electric car in that, what was that thing called? The, the 24 hour race. Oh, Le Mans? Yeah. I think. You're going gonna to see one. It's French name yeah. in France. Yeah, I don't know. I like it's it's an interesting thing, I guess. Uh, I don't know if all drivers go into that, but yeah, the Le Mans. Yeah, mm. uh, it is pretty tiring though. I mean, just sitting there. <laughs> True. Four hours, you're just going around. How long was it? Four hour. Four intervals. yeah, four hours intervals. But like you're going around the lap. It took takes three, three, three minutes, minutes. Yeah. At the max or so. Yeah. And he was like beating those records. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. But that you're doing that for four hours. Yeah, I know. You just see the same. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nuts. That's pretty. But nuts. a lot of that is like it's quite like him saying like, "Oh, I want to like try and do um, the perfect lap." Yeah, perfect lap. But it's like uh, how how. Uh, but it's kind of like robotic, though, right? It's like yeah, a, yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, might as well just have robots do this for us. Yeah. Oh, you might as well just have robots do it for us. Yeah, but I guess this is the skill of driver. I mean, yeah, I guess it's the human. Well, uh, well, this wasn't a movie review, but what'd you score the movie, Ford vs. Ferrari? I'll say eight. Ooh, that's pretty good. I'll give this... I'll give it an eight, too. I was gonna say 8.5, but no, nah, I'll go eight. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I felt the beginning was a bit dragging. Okay, I uh, it, it didn't capture my attention as much. Oh, really? The beginning? No. Oh. I just waited to get to the race, man. True. Oh yeah. Okay. Or the build-up was fine, but then there was like certain talks in between. I didn't really care about. Like, shut up. No, I thought it was a really good like 
example of yeah, again, yeah. economics yeah. like all the behind the scenes stuff that would go on like yeah it's like like what ford had to do i was like oh we got to finish all three cars yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's exactly it's all marketing stuff yeah yeah that's why i thought it was cool and then like how he said remember in the beginning he was like uh just don't make these suits do like change you or something like that uh oh right yeah 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 He's yeah. like, there's going to come a point when, like, they ask you to do something you don't want to do. Yeah. Like, the driver was saying that to Matt Damon. Mm-hmm. It's funny because we watched, um, what's that show? Uh, House of Lies in that Matt Damon episode, how they made him seem like such a jerk. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that. Oh, it's so funny that he was, like, oh, such yeah? a jerk. <laughs> in the episode, like, the real Matt Damon's actually a jerk. That's like, It's, like, a huge, like, joke because, like, he always portrays himself as a good guy. Yeah. So it's just funny. <laughs> I just thought about that when I was watching that movie. Just like Matt Damon being a jerk. Uh, <laughs> he's not uh, allegedly. He's not though. Like it was a satire. Like they're trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, he yeah. was playing a jerk himself. Like he wanted to be that character. Mm-hmm. It was just funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Matt Damon as an actor. He's a cool guy. Yeah, I like him. Jason Bourne. Yeah, but he's yeah. That was young. He was young. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, Goodwill Hunting. I like Christian Bale though. It's, did you see how much he changed for that role too? God damn, Christian Bale as an actor is like <laughs> you need to chill out, bro. Your like, body's gonna die. He did Vice before this, right? I think it was. Oh, Vice. that's true, <laughs> dude. Your body's gonna die, yo. He went how many so, times? I forgot he, he was he was Cheney, right? Yeah. Wow, he he went super fat, and then he went. Oh my super god, skinny. That's, that's, real, that's not good for your body, bro. He's a method actor. Yeah. I mean, the point is for his skill, right? That's all. I think he wants to die being known as like a great actor. He yeah. doesn't care about his body. You obviously don't care about your body. Yeah, no, it's just about the the, act, the acting career skill or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, do you ever see a uh, machinist? The machine. Yes, yes. Uh, it was uh, even more skinny. <laughs> yeah, I I'd never seen the movie, but I saw like the pictures of it. I was like, dude. I think uh, crazy, he did know? that movie. Uh, uh, and then he had to bulk up for Batman. Yeah, yeah, right after, yeah, yeah. totally. So that's a good example of like, like wow. how he did the the Cheney one. Yeah, and then he switched to you know that thing. This one. He's crazy. Yeah, awesome actor though. I yeah. Like him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're giving that one an eight. Yeah. 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 Eight in general. Yeah. And I guess in some, um, electric is the future but how long <laughs> how long are we saying yeah yeah how long till we get there it depends on who figures out how to ep- economically make it feasible yeah it has to be everywhere right and i think uh, it i mean has that, to, it has that to benefit everyone yeah i like, mean that was that was the impact that i see what elon's trying to do like him building that uh, cyber truck was like well the number third car that sells the most is a pickup truck so we have to do that right makes sense yeah. so, see see what i'm saying like yeah. business moves smart yeah. guy i like him mm-hmm. yeah all right um again this episode is brought to you by any foul thoughts <laughs> uh i mean i don't know I, I just you know i wanted to drive after that i did too that's so funny <laughs> that's so funny because i was going to my jujitsu test the next day and i used my sister's car <laughs> yeah. so like I, I was using the uh stick shift so i was like yeah we're in we're in right, ford right, versus right, right, right now right. <laughs> that's so funny that you said that because it's told me too <laughs> I was like, I was in my sister's like stick shift, and I was like, "This is so awesome!" Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that was cool. That's cool. But you never hit like when you're driving on the road. You know, he hits like the red zone, and then he switches gears to make him go faster. Yeah. Um, that's you like never hit that when you're actually driving in real life. Yeah. The red zone, you always hit like three. Right. Like right. Like he goes up to yeah, eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. It's it's. But they're like pulling it up to as fast as they can, right? They're right, going, right, they're right. Going max speeds here. But I was already going really fast when you're going at three switching. You could feel the boost, so it's like, wow, what is maximum feel like <laughs> to hit like the maximum RPM or whatever? Yeah, 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 and then yeah, like yeah. you switch to like yeah. a higher gear. Um, I guess yeah, I guess it's the boost right that they're trying to get. So yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. So there, there's like a there's a perfect point where you you switch your. Uh, so if if you're you know drive manual basically like in an automatic car it's switching gears for you but in a yeah. in a manual car you get to switch the gears whenever you want right 
like yeah yeah like so yeah. it's like it's in terms of like efficiency so like if you're going for like a long period of time you'll probably be on like gear three like going a long period but not fast mm-hmm. you can go on gear three so it's giving you most energy so like as you it's hard to explain how gear shifting works but like basically you just shift the gears for yourself right and there are certain gears that are more fuel efficient than others mm-hmm. and more power efficient mm-hmm. you know so like gear one and two it's super powerful but like you can't really run on that for a long time right yeah, yeah. anyways you know i learned how to gear shift like as a kid we were always doing it for like my dad he, he'd like push the gear and he'd like shift to like four or shift mm-hmm. to five now whatever <laughs> but i never understood like how the foot pedal worked like they were trying to teach me and i was always like messing it up and then i saw fast and the furious and i was like oh i get how it works now right, right you know right. so like i attribute my manual skill to fast and the furious <laughs> shout out paul walker brown belt in brazilian jiu-jitsu oh is he maybe black but i think the last picture i saw was brown belt then he mm. died oh yeah, it's too bad. Too bad. Um, see you again. Was that the name of the song? Till I see you again with the. I don't remember. All right, whatever. You get it. All right. <laughs> so uh, this episode brought to you by Zenro Clothing Co. Pick your tees on ZenroClothingCo dot com. Use code SG Podcast for twenty percent off select items. Me and Vish both have hoodies and tees, so there you yeah. go. All right. Uh, we got we got a lot of movies coming out this week. Yeah, uh, I'm, I want to see that Netflix one that's coming out this. Okay, so we'll probably do all right. So the next podcast might be uh, a Netflix movie review, and then Star Wars comes out on the nineteenth. Yeah, yeah. And then nineteen seventeen. I kind of want to see that one. Oh, the war movie. Yeah, yeah the yeah, war one. It's all uh, single. War, single yeah. one I'll shot. check that out. Yeah, yeah. Why not? It's, it's like Dunkirk. Yeah, ish. Yeah, yeah. I just excited. I want to see like how the the filming and stuff. I'm excited with the camera so, work. Totally, me too. All right. Till next time. Cool. Take it easy. Peace.